Och detta är er alltså en innerslipper. Innerslipper och detta är er vanlig. Så det är er 30 grader där. Och så flytta den lite bakover med den där. Her slipper kon. Retter opp bordet. Det er spørsmålet hva som er mest desist da. Sillestående kon. Eller om det skal... Hvilken vei vil jeg sveive? Nå går det Da kommer jeg opp og må med olje. Etter hvert så kan jeg vri den opp. Og så sånn at den går sånn at den blir sånn at den sånn at den blir And uh, the spindles are uh, not tested first. At least uh, this don't have any any balancer. Just test it here, and it's a one hundredth of a millimeter indicator. So of course. I'll try my other also. You see, there is a half, half a hundreds. Maybe six. Oops. Yeah, that must be a spot here. Some irregularities, but there you see. So it's plus minus minus um, let's say two to three, let's say three then thousands going up on the freshly ground uh, surface. Yeah, 
like that and I choose uh, this one because I mean that side for you because this being closer to the to the centers that is used when when this was ground this will deflect more so here I'm with the two thousands of a millimeter indicator it's uh, well it's less than one ten thousandths of an inch if you're imperial and it's very jumpy but we'll try to rotate slowly you see I don't fault that spindle in the run out here oops seems to be less than two maybe three and then in what you may consider a real setup just uh, having um, let's put it over there use an old uh, available spindle so this is a one thousands of a millimeter indicator so each division line is one thousands of a millimeter and so it's very sensitive I'll just uh, rotate around it so now it's one two three So three thousandths of a millimeter and I had to pop pop it loose and you can see the the grind is absolutely impeccable and this is the other spindle it was proven okay by me at least I accept it and it seats all the way in because this has been ground somewhat more this was the one with the stripes so that we had to take it a little bit more um, at the point I guess it becomes too much now it's almost flush so there's very little to go on but there could be for instance a spacer behind the bearing so that when you have the here you can have any sort of spacer and the length of the spindle is uh, is no problem or let's say the length of surface uh, in contact so this will um, just moving it out again and showing this will be uh, be flush here as you can see and uh, protrude a little bit uh, at the rear there that we could move it with the spacer uh, so that it at least seats correctly with regards to the longitudinal with the needed uh, let's say the gears and everything um, but it has full contact but just a little bit longer up with regards to the bearing surface so you don't lose out on that just instead of having this in contact you will have the full this in contact so the little bit of leeway there I have no uh, certain amount of uh, preload, so I'm a little bit skeptical also of the exactness of this. I can feel, but uh, you can see this has a little bit more. And this is the spindle where we think we ground it too hot and you can see the effect of that. Much more deviation, you can also see it from the grind.